Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this week's video we're going to be looking at conditional formatting but how to use formulas uh, in order to generate the conditional formatting uh, rules or criteria should we say. For that we've got a table you can see on the left hand side here so we're, we've, we've created a scenario of uh, a movie rental so you can see we've got a list of movie titles and we can see the, the start date that someone obviously took the started the rental of the film and then the end date and we want to compare this end date to today's date, what you can see here in row six, so we can identify all of those films that are currently um, overdue. So they're either sort of, the date is past when they're meant to bring it back, and we want to highlight the ones that we need to now chase these people up about. So in order to do so, we're gonna use conditional formatting, but ultimately we're gonna be using a simple formula to identify true or false, uh, what ones are either overdue or actually they're still fine to continue. When using formulas with conditional formatting, there is a couple of rules that we need to abide by. This is ultimately that the formula we use must evaluate to either a true or false result, uh, or the numeric equivalence, which is one and zero, or ultimately, if we're going to be using um, a formula that evaluates to a number, if it generates a positive or a negative number, it will be treated as true. And if it evaluates to zero, then it will be treated as false. So it's just another little criteria just to let you know. So if it's going to generate a number from your formula, if it's a positive or a negative number, so basically anything other than zero, it will be true. But if it's zero, it will be evaluated to false and then therefore uh, perform the criteria that you require. First thing we're going to do is just enter our formula here into column E just so we can see what it looks like and make sure the formula is working before we add it to the conditional formatting. All we're going to do is simply do equals uh, end date is less than or equal to today's date and that is the formula. One thing we need to do is just check our references here so we just need to do an absolute cell reference to uh, our today's date in row six here just to make sure that it's not going to be changed uh, obviously as you drag this formula down. To do so, all we need to do is just hit F4 once selected that C6 for our, in our example here, and hit enter and it carries on as normal. So we'd copy that down and we can see we've got a range of true and false answers. So we just can check that, yes, yeah, so the ones we've got false, it's given us end dates that are in excess of today's date and therefore they haven't yet exceeded their end date. So they're still fine and we don't need to worry about chasing any of those people. So we can jump straight in to the conditional formatting now that we know the formula is working as intended. To do so, we need to, and this is a key part to remember, because we want to apply our formatting to the entire row. Uh, so like these ones here where it says uh, true, we know that these are overdue. We don't want to just highlight this one date. We want to highlight all that reference, all that row relative to that date so that we've got a clear indication of all the information that is now overdue. To add the conditional formatting, what we now need to do is make sure we're selecting the whole table or whole range we wish to apply formatting to. So in this example, you can see I've pretty much selected the whole table minus the headings at the top there. We're then going to go into conditional formatting and we're going to go into a new rule. Uh, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. So in, in here, this is where I can now enter the formula I require. So for us, it's going to be equals, and my first cell is going to be D9. And I want to see whether that is less than or equal to uh, our today's date, which is in C6. So this is obviously the basic we've put in there. But what we need to now do is ensure we've got correct, uh, absolute and relative um, cell references applied to our formula. And by that, I mean we need to ensure that for C6, that we're gonna always be looking at this today's date. So in order to do so, we just need to highlight and do F4. And you can see by hitting it once, it gives us dollar signs to make sure we're absolute on the column and the row reference. So that's great. We always want to be referencing this in regards to comparing against uh, today's date. But in regards to uh, D9, uh, we always want to be obviously looking at this column of D. So yes, we want to lock that but we don't want to lock the row. So as this formula comes down, we obviously want to be looking at each row independently so that it can do the evaluation on if that end date is uh, less than or greater than than today's date. So for this one, all we need to do is hit F4 once, 
twice gets you onto the uh, onto the row, and then the third time means we're then locking that column D. And then that is our formula that we require for this conditional formatting. The last thing to do is just add a color of choice so we can format um, based on when this evaluates, and then we can go into maybe that pink there, select OK, and we get back to this page here so we can make sure we're all validated and happy. Select OK one more time, and you can see we've now got the formatting applied to those uh, rows where the movie title is now overdue. And we can quickly validate that against this simple formula we put in in the first place. So all the ones what have evaluated to true, we can see yes, that day is indeed true because it is less than or equal to two days date. And we can just cast the eye down there and we can see that all of these are actually past dates. Uh, apart from this one actually in row 15, we can actually see that the 12th of June, so that's actually today's date. So this one is, you could say it's overdue because today has been reached. Uh, but you might also want to say, OK, well, it should be arriving back today. So it's not quite overdue in that sense. Last thing to remember to do is just remove this column E here, just so that we, you know, just tidy up the page. And then we can go, we've got our nice tidy and completed table. So I hope you enjoyed that video and it gave you an insight into using formulas with your conditional formatting. If you do have any questions at all, please just leave a comment below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, also, as an addition, uh, we've got some films there. If you've seen one of these films and you suddenly think, oh, I really like that film, or I'm now going to go watch it because of this video, again, why not drop us a comment? It'd be great to hear if you actually have been inspired to watch one of these films based on today's video. And lastly, if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give the video a like. And also, if you are new or you're a repeat viewer of our channel, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button so you're notified of all of our future videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.